So if you are not aware, the residents in Buffalo are risking their lives right now. That's right, they are on strike. To catch you up on the story, they formed a union about a year ago, I think, and they've been negotiating at the table to get a fair salary. Baseline residents don't make a lot of money, but with the recent inflation due to COVID, things have gotten a lot worse. It's because of the consumer price index leaps, they've made 15% less. So that's 15% less purchasing power in the last year. So if you look at all the residencies in the upstate New York region, they're all making somewhere between sixty-four dollars and $71,000, right? Just kidding. UB is head and shoulders below every other program in the area. Intern year, they're paid $8,000 less than the nearest intern. And at PGY7, so a cardiology fellow, they're making more than $20,000 less than a fellow at a nearby institution in Rochester. But don't take my word for it. If you make less than $58,000 per year as a single person, you're considered low income. But let's think about any of these residents that have a family. You have just two people in your family, so I don't know, your wife or your partner, so you're already considered low income. But mind you, I pulled these numbers from 2018, so whatever it is, it's way worse now. And they do studies on this which show compensation protects against burnout. But you don't need to be a scientist to know that when you're working 80 to 100 hours a week, money can buy you space, it can buy you time, and it can buy you oxygen so you can freaking breathe. And yes, the payment is unfair, and we all know it sucks getting paid as a resident. But all that stuff aside, that's not even the reason they're still striking, they're still at the table. It's so that they can get their health care paid for. In general, doctors are agreeable people, so the fact that they're willing to risk their careers in order to advocate for change means that whatever situation they're in is worth risking it for. It means it's got to be extreme. And in this case, it is. The environment is so terrible that residents are leaving lectures with life-threatening illnesses and then being threatened with punitive action. Or when they're stuck in the hospital for days at a time due to a snowstorm, they're rationing their meals. If I'm in a situation where I'm actually dealing with my lowest level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I'd be willing to risk my career to unionize too. And that's how we get economic change is when we're backed into the corner. I think that those residents are brave. I know they're saying that they have nothing left to lose, but they still have a lot to gain. So I really hope they win. And this is me trying to lend University of Buffalo residents some of my power for my platform because you guys need to hold strong. And I really hope you can exact change.